Alright, what up YouTube? It's Pluck the Master Gamer here, and today we're playing some Fable the Lost Chapters, because today we're actually doing a, I guess, exploit video. It's not really a glitch, it's an exploit. Technically, I've done this video before, but I have since discovered a better way of doing this. This is, of course, the silver key duplication glitch that you do during the Hob Cave quest. So, first of all, you're going to need to have Hob Cave as your active quest, so we're just gonna take that right now. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is go to the Great Wood Coast Gate, because that is the closest to the uh, Hob Cave place that we need to go. Now, of course, this exploit only works on the original Fable or Fable of the Lost Chapters. It does not work on the anniversary version of the game, as you need to have the hero save function in order to do this, and they removed the hero save function for the anniversary version of the game, so you just, you, it can't be done. But basically, this is the hero save exploit, but we're gonna be using it in order to get more or less infinite keys. One of the main problems with the duplication glitch using the hero save exploit is that the more times you do it the more corrupted your save file becomes and so you're very limited on the amount of keys you can duplicate because if you duplicate too many the game starts to act pretty buggy and then eventually like your save state won't even load so I found a way to kind of get around this or at least be able to get you more silver keys without corrupting your save file as much so first of all the first key you're gonna pick up is here and you'll notice that I said first key because there is actually more than one key that you can obtain during this single quest. So that means that we can obtain the first one and obtain the second one and then use the hero save exploit and then get them all again. So first of all, you're going to need to start the actual quest because you need to get into the place. And actually, I don't even know. You might be able to do this without getting the key. I've never checked, actually. Now for this, we're just going to run through here for time's sake because we really don't need to kill any of this shit. The main thing we're worried about is just digging up this key and then saving and then exiting. And there'll be a whole bunch of shit going on over here, but you're just gonna ignore all this and you're gonna head straight for this little circle here and you're gonna dug up the next silver key. So you'll notice here that we now have two silver keys, I believe. And that is another portion of this exploit that I did not mention. You can only duplicate items that you already have more than one uh, of in your inventory. So if the Hob Cave silver key is the first key that you obtain, uh, it will not stick around when you do the hero save exploit. So you gotta keep that in mind. You have to already have one. Um, before you dig up the Hob Cave one so that you can actually duplicate it. However, in this case, since we're digging up two of them at a time before we actually do the exploit, it doesn't matter because, you know, we, we have more than one of them. We have two now. So um, you have to have at least two of them for it to stick around when you do the hero save exploit. So what we do now that we have the two of them is we do our hero save. And God, I have a lot of empty slots or used slots, I mean. Okay, so you saved it. Now it's time to load it on up. Save 19. Goodness gracious. All right, so just to double check here, we're gonna go to our inventory and I'm gonna show that we do indeed, uh, what? Oh, uh, you know what? It may be that you have to have one before you even start whatever hero save quest that you're doing. Wow, that is uh, some shiznit right there. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go obtain another silver key first and then we're going to repeat all those steps so i'm just going to do the easiest one here and that's the one here at lookout point so you do actually have to make sure that you have at least one silver key in your inventory before you even start the quest otherwise this will not work so now that we have that one we're going to go back and do all that shit we just did all right so here we are we're going to dig up the first silver key here and then start up the quest all right so here we are back at the focus chamber time to dig up the second key here all right, so now you will see that I have a total of three keys in my inventory. So that's the one that I got at Lookout Point and then the two from the Hob Cave Quest. Now we'll do the hero save exploit and it should actually work this time. So I guess that's, at the very least, it's a good example of why you need to have one in, in your inventory still. I have no explanation for why the game does it this way, but it's just how the thing works. So you just kind of got to roll with it. So we'll load it up and if all went right, you should see that now we still have our three silver keys and we can repeat these steps once again and as many times as we really want. Now, the thing I want to really, really like drive in here is like this exploit works 10 to 15 times. 15 is really pushing it. 10 is like really like the upper echelon of like what you should limit yourself at. Usually between 10 and 15, the game gets corrupted. So in most situations, I would stop myself at 10 and those 10 hero save exploits will get me 10 silver keys. However, in this case, with this new updated method, if you get the two silver keys every time you do the exploit, if you did the exploit 10 times, you would end up with 20 silver keys in the end. Or if you wanted to get the same amount, just 10 silver keys, it would take you half as many hero saves in order to actually accomplish it. 
and so your save file would be corrupted just that little amount less, you know? Let's uh, look at our inventory and let's see how many we got. So yep, we still have the ones that we had before as well as two more from this round. So we have one from Lookout Point and then now a total of four from the Hob Cave Quest. So now we're gonna hero save one more time. And I think this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna show it just because I mean like, it's the same every time. I'm not gonna show you guys this 10 times in a row, you know. And again, just to show you, we're gonna go look into the inventory real quick. And, yep, we still have all five of them, and we're going to do it again. All right, so there's one. All right, and there's the second one again. And let's just take a little look here. And, of course, we have seven silver keys now. So let's hero save this guy one more time, and let's just get the hell out of here. All right, and as you can see, we still have our seven silver keys. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I just kind of wanted to do like an update on this because I have done this video, I think once or twice actually now in a couple different ways. But since I've now discovered that there is a second silver key during the Hob Cave quest, which I knew about it, but I kind of like forgot about it. It was just like a silver key that like I didn't get very often. After I found out about it, I'm like, oh shit, you can do this thing twice. And then like somebody had mentioned it in the comments. If I can find that comment, I'll definitely try to dig that up and slap that in here somewhere. Um, but I think somebody else had mentioned it too. And I'm like, oh yeah, dude, I totally know exactly what you're talking about. I totally got to remake this video. So anyways, here's the video remade. This should give you a little bit better results. You should be able to get more silver keys with uh, corrupting your game file a little bit less. So just in case you want to use some of those hero saves for like, I don't know, the age reduction exploit or something, and you don't want to completely fuck up your save file, that gives you a little bit of extra leeway there. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did like it, make sure you leave a like. It definitely helps me out. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to see any more of these videos or any of my other gaming content for that matter. But yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable the Lost Chapters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.